All right, guys, as we keep going with the posing of the side view. Um, so I've already pretty much created mine over here. Um, I just want to point out a few things that I did. You'll also notice that it's not exactly, of course, the same as what we had previously. So I pretty much positioned this piece right here. Uh, we'll see how to fix a few things on the systems as we go, because right now, as I get to my side view, I start seeing that some of the things that I have inside of my uh, of my view here, if I just bring this to the back again, um, some of these are not exactly uh, working out. So we have a line here that should appear inside of the ear, and it should also be at the top of the pink part uh, of the interior of my character's ear. Um, so all little things like that that we're going to need to kind of figure out um, to create different uh, a difference between the quarter front and the side view over here. Um, I also have the leg. We don't see it too much right now. Um, basically, if I interpolate between the different poses over here, you can see that for the leg, because it was kind of hard to get that to, uh, to this position height here and it had a nice smooth curve. Um, so what I did for this one is uh, I basically flipped the entire leg here. So I took the entire one and basically just uh, flipped it with a minus one value. So I'm still repositioning it, but now when I interpolate it, you see that it kind of becomes completely invisible as it scales down in zero size and then boosts back up to one. Uh, so we'll be able to fix that once we start keyframing uh, and breaking down the movement in the different poses uh, of the breakdown of our character. So it's nothing to worry about too much. It is going to happen whether it is pieces scaling or uh, pieces that are um, going to be popping in Z depth inside of the character. Ideally, I try not to use too much flips um, the main one that I usually go for is the one that will flip the character in the 180. Uh, so you'll have the entire rotation 180 front to back. And then for the rest of the 360, basically uh, 180 to the 360 view, we'll have to just flip the character over. Um, this way, of course, avoiding a lot of the work that needs to be done for uh, that kind of rotation to work. So um, this is pretty much the result that you should have right now for creating your front view to your quarter front to your side view. So a lot of this pretty much already works. You'll notice that for the face and the vest here, um, you have to pay attention when they kind of disappear off, uh, shifting over to the back of the body. See, I'm moving those to the side, making sure that these don't just go anywhere. So I want to keep the eye pretty much over here because if I need to animate it going back again, I want it to be pretty much in the same, uh, in the right position. So I don't want to go over to my side view and just toss the eye uh, over to this side because then I'll get something like this. So you kind of have to uh, keep that in mind as you position your different items, even if they're not seen on the screen. So the same goes for every other piece here. Um, anything that will need to reappear again as we shift over, such as the little pieces of hair right here, or uh, the little piece of the mouth here that we mentioned before, all of this needs to be taken into consideration, even if you don't see them. So um, we'll get to this part. Make sure that you have the ear pretty much positioned all right. Uh, the other ear is, of course, underneath it. I have the one over here. I'm trying to make it so that it doesn't show too much. We don't want to, uh, we want to keep the design as consistent as possible with the original ref. Um, and we'll see how to fix those little things uh, in the next video, such as, of course, the ear over here and creating new drawings as well. So 
See you guys in the next video.